Hi, my name is Sean Bougie. I'm a licensed real estate agent. I have been since 1993. And I've been involved in creative real estate, alternative real estate, since 2003. I haven't worked as a real estate agent since 2008. I recover now, full time. Tax and mortgage overages for a living, and I teach others to recover overages and partner up with them, destroying all the barriers to your success. I've trained hundreds of successful researchers, partners, entrepreneurs, most started as complete newbies with no previous training or experience at all. Several now make over $100,000 a year. Many make over $50,000 a year part-time from home partnering up with us. We recover mortgage and tax overages nationwide where there's literally billions in overages being held. And yes, I did say billions with a B. It is virtually untapped, it's a huge market, and if you'll keep watching, I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'll show you real lists of money held and real checks. The average overage to recover is $35,000. We teach you to profit 40% or more on your own while helping other people, or you can start as a researcher for us and we will pay you a handsome commission on the total gross we recover with us doing all of the heavy lifting for you. If you decide to start with us as a researcher first, which most people do. We will find the claimant, contact them, negotiate the deal, check for judgments against them, hire the attorneys and mobile notaries, we will buy out their claim. We will destroy every barrier to your success. You'll build a lucrative, satisfying business working online from home. In this video, I'll show you real checks, real overage lists, I will literally tell you exactly how to build and run your own $100,000 a year business. But first, let's address the elephant in the room, the misinformation out there about overages. These are lies you've probably heard about this business. You just get a list. Contact, contact those people, you don't have to research anything else, and you'll make a million dollars. You don't need to hire any attorneys. You can use a power of attorney or just an assignment to do this business and you get paid in a matter of a few days. None of those statements are true. The business, guys, this is not hard. It's not difficult to do this, but there are some simple steps that have to be done. You do have to work. It's, it's not get rich quick. Keep watching. I will learn the truth, guys. I'll teach you the truth. You can do this and I'll show you how and I'll show you how we will do the heavy lifting for you. You can make a staggering amounts of money in this business, but you deserve to know the whole truth, have realistic expectations, and know that there is, like any real opportunity out there, there's work involved. So please watch this video in its entirety. I'll get you from zero to hero in just a few months. Uh, many system users made over 100,000 their first year and continue to succeed because millions in overages are created every day. We legally profit over 10000 per deal, often making 50000 or more on a single deal, all while helping folks recover money they didn't even know existed. But don't take my word for it. Here are real mortgage and tax overage lists that you could be working right now and real check. All right, guys, so these are example lists of monies being held for both tax and mortgage overages. I did a number of different areas, small counties, large counties, uh, tax and mortgage overages. And I just wanted to give you an example of what is available. 
So here we have a Florida tax sale result. You can see just from page one, and they have insane tax sales down there. Just from one page, uh, there is a $26,000 overage, or rather, I'm sorry, uh, about a $24,000 overage, because that's both opening bid and actual sales price. Nevada, uh, online, a lot of their information is directly online where you can actually pull it up and look. Wanted to show you that. We have a Arizona tax example. You got balance from the sale, 20,000, 231,000. Lots and lots of overages there. You can see them, right? New York tax overages, surplus being held. Okay. Maryland tax overages being held. You get balance on surplus, 65, 56, 24. By the way, I didn't put the county names in because some people might be working the lists. Uh, here we go, Tennessee, mortgage foreclosures and the overages, the uh, minimum bid versus the actual. Five versus 16, that's 11,000 in overage, 11,000 in overage. We have about a $28,000 overage here, about a $25,000 overage there. Utah, tax overages, you've got it here. You can see that they're holding a total of 414. Here's an $11,000 one, here's a 36. California, they're very easy to get an excess proceeds list. It's a little more difficult to do the research, uh, but we've got overages here. Sale amount versus minimum bid. So minimum was 15, actually sold for 96. You see a lot of that. Georgia, you can see opening bid versus actual. We have $27,000 overage there. Again, these are just from one county. And when it's tax sales, it's just one sale. Like this is a March 1st, 2016 sale. And that isn't even all the well, that's all the pages for that. It's a smaller county. All right, what do we got here? Hawaii, right? New Mexico, see the amount being held in overage. Virginia, balances here, 38 and some change, 16, 16, 27, for, uh, 40,000. Sometimes you see them where they're round. Alabama tax, you see information on here too with the overage, 28,000, 10,000 on just one page of six pages for that tax sale. Just one tax sale, I believe. Delaware, I don't know if you can read this, but there's there's a $41,000, there's a $31,000, and we're just in the, the A's and B's here. Uh, then there's two 14s. Sorry about the quality of that, guys. And New Jersey, mortgage overages, just to show you, it's real easy to access it, and they have the information online. South Carolina, this was a very small county, and you can see they still had an overage over 10 grand, and it was a tiny county, and it was just one tax sale. Again, uh, over 3,100 counties in the United States. Michigan, uh, mortgage overages, you can say they round on this, but there's quite a bit being held. Uh, were real overages being held, and those lists often were from a single county, most from just one scheduled sale. Every time a property sells for more money than the debt owed to the bank or the county, whoever was foreclosing guys, tax auction or foreclosure, and overage is created. That's, this is happening every day all across the United States. With our program, you can work all 50 states on your own or 45 states with us, over 2,500 counties. Yeah, the opportunity and the money is amazing, but you wanna know something interesting? After the real estate crash in 2008, when I first started getting involved full time, I couldn't recover overages if my life depended on it. And it's true. I was in my early 40s, and after three years in the business, I could count the overage I recovered on just my hands. No matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't make consistent money in overage recovery, even working day and night, guys. I chased every prospect across the state of North Carolina. I was working the state I'm in. I made over 100, yes, 100, cold calls per day and spent every penny I had on mailings and calls. I even knocked on doors. When I told when I told an investor friends the trouble I was having, they said I was the problem. I needed to be more positive, set more goals, try harder. But those things only got me in more rejection and more frustration. In fact, I was barely above water. I was so broke I had to sell off property and borrow from family just to put food on the table. I almost gave up on recovering overages. Thankfully, I didn't give up. Almost by accident, I stumbled on a secret way of putting overage deals together 
while researching structured buyouts. It's a laughably simple technique. It requires no meetings with clients, no advertising, and guys, no selling. In fact, with this technique, people initially gave me the rights to their overage money for free, and I, I almost couldn't believe that. I'd been spending thousands a month trying to find and negotiate with claimants. I was begging them to work with me. Now, people gave me their overage claims for no money up front. I started to work with others who were struggling, and I sold the overview of the method I used. And they loved it. They had eureka moments you know, after reading it, but there was a problem. They didn't have the money to cover minor expenses. They couldn't find or negotiate with claimants. They couldn't follow through. I had completely cracked the code, eliminated competition. Guys, I built a system that made life-changing profit even in a recession. My only issue was casting the checks faster so I could do the next deal and make more. I gave those same tools to others, my techniques, knowledge, expertise. They still couldn't make it work. So I called investor friends, hard money guys who had left the market in the 08 crash and had put their money in their mattress. I asked them one question, and their answer changed my business forever, creating insane opportunity for my student partners, my researchers. I asked, if I train and manage an army of partners, would you fund a national multi-million dollar company Because they trusted me, guys, these folks trusted me and they knew that I could actually deliver on my word, their answer was yes. And the result was my overage recovery business changed overnight. And the opportunity for you, student partners, researchers, exploded. Deals came in from all over the country, profit just flooded into my bank account consistently, weekly. I paid my student partners handsome commissions, uh, so the money I obviously flowed into their bank accounts too. Hundreds of thousands of dollars, guys, of partnership commissions, researcher commissions. People all over the country started contacting me, wanting to partner. They wanted to use my methods and funding. But, guys, there was a catch. Besides mortgages, personal judgments also have a priority claim to the overages in front of the owner. If they're there, they get the money, not the owner. So until recently, you had to go to the courthouse to research judgments. It turns out that's a big obstacle for a lot of people. Researchers would send in checks for a while, and then they'd stop when they got tired of going to the courthouse. I didn't give up, though. I, I created a system that made it possible for me to check judgments for my researchers, and I launched that in April of 2016. The response was immediate. In four months, we doubled the states we were working in, and the deals flew in. They continued to. This was the golden ticket, and the business was at a whole different level now for me and for my partners who sent deals in, my researchers. I bought the office with cash, I hired more staff, paid off debt, bought a new car for my oldest daughter, gave a ton to charity, and best of all, new partners started faster. They had to learn less, they, they could lean on our support, training, and funding. Guys, this is a win-win on a massive scale. I have built a 100% rejection-free way for partners to build a business, guys. Even if you're timid, even timid folks, okay, can put deals together quickly for fantastic profit with zero former training or knowledge. And you can do this without making one claim and cold call. We'll call for you. Without hiring attorneys or mobile notaries, we do it, we pay for it. Without being a finder or using outdated power of attorney or assignment methods that fail, or even worse yet, guys, they'll get you uncashable checks. And does it sound good to be true? Yeah, I understand. Sometimes I have a, a hard time believing this is real and it's so easy. All I ask is you hold off from disbelieving me long enough to see the evidence for yourself. It will take just a few minutes. I'm going to show you how we do the research and how you do research. Here's the cold, hard truth. You're not going to hear at these get-rich-quick webinars or from gurus at rah-rah events and in the internet age guys in this age old-school power of attorney and assignment tricks that they say to use they're gonna kill your chances of making real money in overages in fact using those dinosaur tactics that's like trying to fill a leaky bucket you're spending money to get nowhere and, and let me tell you why if you use power of attorney or assignment contracts and don't do research about ownership or debt 
you know, who had the actual house at the time of the foreclosure, what was owed, you're guaranteed to lose. Because debt has a priority claim to the overage. You'll chase debt, debt and leads. Changing laws keep you from staying legal using those methods. I just heard Colorado had a major change. Claimants won't believe you. If you do get lucky with, a, with an assignment, the court will cut the check to the claimant and you can't catch Those tricks, they were great when courts accepted power of attorney and cut checks directly to you. They don't do that anymore. And claimants don't trust the old methods. As a result, you're lucky to profit in overages enough to pay costs using those tricks. There's a reason they call them tricks, guys. That's how radically the industry has changed in just the past few years. I destroy all those barriers. How do you make money in overages today? Well, it's pretty easy. You stop doing it the way it was done 10 years ago. Here's what I mean. Most people who try this business and spend money and time chasing claimants who aren't entitled to this overage, and that's what you're going to do if you don't do basic research, and claimants don't believe them when you don't believe you when you call. Other folks jump from different worthless techniques, hawked by these big gurus, hoping this one's going to be the one that really works out. The truly successful overage recovery pros, they don't do any of that. We don't call a list without checking debt. Stick with me, guys, and I will show you how easy it is to research debt. We use what I call structured buyouts. This is the secret I discovered that quickly gave me and hundreds of folks that I partner with financial freedom. My system is based on two core truths of overage recovery that others don't tell you about, or worse, guys, they lie about. Okay, these truths are, one, if you don't do research, you don't research who owned the property or what the debt was against the property or the person prior to that foreclosure, you will not profit, period. Two, no buyout or using a power of attorney or an assignment technique, you're going to get disbelief from the claimants, you're going to get no deal, and you are not going to be legal. Okay, so striking deals with folks without checking debt you are wasting your time. Other debt has a priority claim to the overage. I know they tell you that the debt's kicked out at the foreclosure. The mortgages and liens are kicked out against the property at the foreclosure, but they can still claim the overage. Understand that the debt is not gone, just the claim to the house. Trying to strike a, strike a deal without offering a partial upfront buyout, which is what we do, and which keeps us completely outside of the finder realm, okay, or you're using a power of attorney or some kind of old way of doing it, the assignment method, that's going to get your rejection, disbelief, and hung up on. Here's how to check debt and ownership. The research is easy. All right, so this is going to show you what research entails. When you're researching a case, you're generally going to get a list with the person's name and an address. In most cases, and we'll teach you how to get uh, to do the research even if you don't have an address. But you usually get a name and address, and where you start with that after you look at your list is you'll go ahead and plug their name in. In this case, this was one of the first ones we did using the program that we uh, have now. Before, you know, it wasn't the first few years I started. The lady's name was Cheryl L. Long. So what I've done is I came right to, uh, it's a tax record. All I did was plug in Cabarrus County Tax Assessor, in North Carolina, and it came up. Then I can look and see parcel ID numbers, all the information I need. I saw on the list it was 356 Valley Brook Lane, but I do have to check real quick. So I'm going to click on it. And here we have it. We have a parcel ID. Okay, and a legal description. And this is more important to us than the actual address. Unit 27 Stonebridge Townhomes. The reason that I have to have that legal is Miss Long may have had more than one home. So we want to make sure that the address is correct. And, and in fact, look, the account number here it shows it. It's not just a mailing address, that's the address. So I know I have the right one, 356 Valley Brook, okay? I know that the case was a 2008 case, okay? And the last tax record I see for her, uh, Ellen, look if it's the same thing, but the last tax record I see for her was in 2008. So I know it was transferred, right? Here it is, right here. So 
Now I go to the Register of Deeds Department. All I plugged in, and you can see it up here, Cabarrus County. You, all you do is a Google search, Cabarrus County Register of Deeds, North Carolina. Boom, this came up. I clicked on Full System, put in the name, and you've got a couple of different entries. Now, both of these could count, but let me just show you something, guys. Now, I know she lost it in 2008. This is a mortgage. This is the satisfaction of a mortgage. In other words, paid off. I'm going to put these in reverse order. There we go. This is when she lost it. I can tell because she was the grantor, and all this is in our video training. She was the grantor to a Marla Alley, and this was the correct unit right here. So we know that it was it was transferred. Okay, and this was a trustee deed, which means that it was in a foreclosure. All this, of course, again, we'll train you on. Um, there was a substitute trustee. That means that the bank appointed somebody else. We tell you what that means too. Uh, here's the deed when she first purchased it. Okay, uh, Stonebridge Ventures. That's an actual deed. Now, when she also first purchased it, she had actually had a, a property before. This is a different property here with her husband, Frank. It's before they got divorced. But you can see that she actually got the deed to this particular property, and I can tell by looking. So she got the deed to this property. And again, you got unit number 27, Stonebridge Home. There's a brief description for the index. That's exactly what we're looking for. And it does also match the mailing address. It doesn't always match mailing. But this is when she bought it. So we know that any debt prior to this would not count. Okay? And any debt after this, but before it was sold, would count. There was only one. I'll show you here. All right. The same day she got the deed, she got a deed of trust, which is a mortgage. So even though it's in different order, you can see here, this is a mortgage. And in this case, this matches, this deed of trust matches the company that was foreclosing on her. There wasn't any other debt. So there are three questions you answer when you're researching for overages. The first one is, who is the last person that owned the property prior to the sale? Well, she didn't quick claim it to anybody else. You would have seen that in the deeds. And what was the debt against the property? Well, this was, was cleared out because this was the foreclosing entity. The last question would be, was there any debt against her as a person, such as judgment, credit card debt, that kind of thing, that was recorded as a judgment or a lien prior to the sale against her and it hasn't expired and we teach you in that case actually we do that for you if you start as a researcher we'll look that up uh, if not if you want to do it on your own a simple program like TLO is a good idea a good way rather to determine whether or not there were judgments against the individual that's it guys you use online systems it's not hard that's it guys that simple research that I just showed you that is all it takes to determine the ownership who's entitled to the overage or surplus funds. I demolish all your barriers for you. You get a list, I teach you how to get that. And you research the debt, that's easy, you just you just saw that. My crew finds them, makes the deal, hires the attorney and the mobile notary, buys them out, guys, claims the overage. You get paid immediately after we get paid the check. And no matter what these hit and run overage gurus are saying to you, calling a list without research or striking deals using these outdated or illegal methods, it's all smoke and mirrors. They want to hit and run you, basically hit and run sell you as a customer. I tell you the truth because I want to partner with you. This has resulted in my company recovering millions in overages, paying hundreds of thousands of dollars in commissions to partners. And guess what? I'll teach you how to. Without prior knowledge in real estate, debt, title work, negotiation, I'll take anyone, again, timid as a church mouse, and I'll take them to high profit. You've seen example lists, you've seen real checks, you've seen the research just now, what you need to do. Can you do it? Well, of course you can do that. In fact, if you use our system, you can get and research lists fast, put deals together, cast the checks quickly, and claimants actually thank you for working with them. Or just get a list and research the debt, we'll do the rest. Fill out our title worksheet, send it in, we'll take it from there. This strategy is the secret sauce, if you will, that incredibly successful overage recovery pros know. Pros that I taught and that no one else knows. And getting people to sign their overage to you legally without an assignment or a power of attorney, it's a lot easier than you think. And it's way easier than chasing the wrong folks, getting hung up on, or using methods that get checks you can't catch. When you know these secrets, you'll go from prospector to order taker with folks thanking you for the privilege of working with you.
This makes overage recovery about as easy and painless as filling out a blank check. I, I've developed a program, guys, that'll blow your mind. How to get people to say yes, never questioning your credibility. How to research debt so you avoid chasing a dead end. How to stay legal and make the claim with an attorney. And of course, how to send us deals. My full-time staff will find them, strike the deal, buy them out, we pay them up front. As you can imagine, that's a little powerful, guys. If you've tried this on your own before now and you're running into competition and you were losing out, it was probably us because we're buying them out up front. Um, we handle all the costs. We pay you upon recovery. You avoid calling the claimants, hiring anybody, coming out of pocket with buyout money, mailings, costs, any of that, guys. No calls. I can't share all the secrets I've learned about overages in this video, but there's a way you can get this info fast and easy. I've put all of it into an easy read, uh, easy to read ebook. Uh, it's called National Surplus Funds. This is the secret weapon of the most successful recovery. That program, National Surplus Funds, is the blueprint I use to transform newbies into pros, cashing checks in a few months. Yes, it takes a few months, guys, two or three months to start seeing checks, not a couple of days. Courts won't even cash the check that fast. The guy's telling you you can get paid in a couple days. Well, that's smoke and mirrors, being nice. I know others say you can get paid in a few days, but but again, the court, that's ridiculous. They've been There have been times I actually stopped offering this program, by the way, as growth exploded. We've even had waiting lists of folks wanting to partner up. Can you imagine having that problem? I put my entire system into one no-fluff program with links to video and advanced training and free email support. That's part of the package. The system has transformed lives, um, and most have never worked overages before or anything like it. But you cannot find the system in bookstores, or I'm not putting it on Amazon. And until 2016, the program didn't allow you to start as a researcher without having going into the courthouse. That's because you also have to check judgments against the person. If the judgment against, is against the individual and was there prior to the foreclosure in the same county as where the house is, it also has a priority claim to the overage. So you had to be able to check that. Okay, at the time, before April 2016, that required you to go into the courthouse. Now, thanks to our skip tracing system and it's incredibly accurate judgment checking, you don't have to do that. And you guessed it, we do that for you too. There's a link from this webinar where you can get our system. It is complete. You can work overages without us or you can partner with us using it. We don't offer this opportunity all the time. We actually partner with you, so we use the webinar not only to get the word out, but we use it to control our growth. Nice and even growth. We've been over 75% a year for the last four or five years. We decide how many folks can come on board. For okay, here's just a small taste of what folks think of the program. These are actual testimonials I've received. Sean, $400,000 recovered, six months, I netted, I netted $160,000, that was Cam. My first check as a researcher, $10,000, and I got paid fast, Lydia. First check was $60,000, God bless you, that was Robert. Guys, all you need to start being just as successful is a computer or a laptop, a Wi-Fi connection, and either a scanner or a free image organizer program, something you can download for free so that you can get the files into us. Ask any of the gurus out there if they limit the number of programs they sell, and chances, chances are they don't. And if they say differently, they're lying to you guys. Why? Because they make their money from hit and run selling you a program. I made, I, I'm different. I make my money by partnering with you and actually working the deals. If you come on board, you will know exactly how we run this business. And when you do, making money in overage recovery becomes automatic and routine. Here's the bottom line. You'll never chase dead-end deals. You'll never worry about folks hanging up on you or getting checks you can't cash. Instead, claimants will jump at the chance to work with you, sign up quickly and easily. Just follow my simple recipe, guys. And before you know it, you'll put your first deal together and then another and another until before you know it, you have a pipeline. Pipeline of deals coming. Here's the exciting thing, guys. This is actually changing people's lives. So you'll pay cash for cars and property. You'll pay college costs. You'll give charitably. Whatever it is you, that you want to do. 
the important things that profit can give you. Finally, you can relax and enjoy what you do. Folks try this business without me. I'll just, they try it without me and they run into three problems. One, everyone's hanging up on me. They can't get to a yes. Two, the other guy's methods don't work. Yeah, that's, they're using 90s techniques, guys. They can't afford to run the business while they're growing it. And that's the number one reason businesses fail. They're undercapitalized. With me, you're never gonna have any of these problems. You see, I'm not hit and run. I'm not trying to sell a book and send you on your way. I'm trying to partner with you and I make the majority of my income by putting deals together, working the very same system I train you with right alongside you. I have a vested, listen, I have a vested interest in making you successful. These other guys, they have a vested, vested interest in making you a customer. I've said this on other videos. That's why they say you can do it without an attorney, without researching debt, basically without working, you're gonna get paid in a few days. It, <laughs> if after seeing this opportunity and the ease of the research side, you still don't wanna get involved, I respect that and I wish you the best. However, if you're willing to take this journey with me, if you're willing to take Rich pay. Let me break this down for you. So 8% of gross average is 35,000 retrieval we make. 8% of gross is $2,800. 5% conversion rate means you're gonna look at about, this is worst case, 20 files to get a hit to make one work. That's 15 minutes per file, about five hours for 2,800 bucks. So you can do this five hours a week, make about $2,800. A researcher is gonna make about $560 an hour. Do it on your own. You can get, uh, let's say your average 35 grand, 40% is the average net that you can make, $14,000, 20 files in order to get one to pop. This is again, I'm doing all worst case numbers. Guys, I'm the opposite of what you've been looking at. I'm doing worst case. That's basically, an hour per file is $700 an hour. I'm giving you guys, I'm giving you the keys to success with this program. I'm giving you training, support, even a partnership opportunity where I do all the heavy lifting with my money. <laughs> because we have gone to a limited number of partner opportunities per webinar. I'm also including free membership, $197 value for life, to our rightfulownerproject.org credibility site. Regardless of your decision, we wish you success in all that you do. If you still have pre-buy questions, you can give me a call. That's Sean Bougie, 704-791-9398. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. Guys, if the program is sold out for this run while you're watching this, we encourage you to sign up for the newsletter to get updated on when we'll uh, take on more partners again or sign up for another webinar. You can also go to the site, Surplus Funds, uh, F is in Frank, U-N-D, S is in Sam, surplusfundsriches.com. Go to that site, okay? Click on the right side on the Facebook link. You can also like our Facebook page and keep up to date that way. We sometimes pull the program off for a Okay, if you're still here, you probably have a few questions, right? So I'm going to cover frequently asked questions questions. Can I start as a researcher without buying the program? No. I'm going to incur costs, guys. That's different. I incur costs on the files. My staff mails and calls them. Uh, I buy people out and pay attorneys and notaries. When we do a mailing, we don't do it just to the claimant. We do it to all their possible friends and associates and family members. So this is costly for us. Um, if you don't have the cost of the course or it'll put you in a financial bind, please don't buy. Folks who work from desperation, they're not going to succeed. Um, and second question, how much can I make? Working on your own, I went over this, 40%, average 35,000, so about 14,000 per deal. That debt research, calling, mailing, negotiating, it's gonna take at least an hour per file, say about an hour per file. That's 14,000 for 20 hours, or about 700 an hour. Uh, yes, you can scale this business too, you can hire other people, certainly. As a researcher, you put in 15 minutes per file, you're working five hours for every deal we put together, okay, because it's gonna be 20, 20 Files submitted to get one. Worst case, absolute worst case, 5% conversion. We pay you 8% of gross, 2,800 average deal. Um, so the per hour runs about $560 an hour. It's a great payoff. If I work on my own, this next, next question, if I work on my own, what, what else would I need? You know, what else would I spend? Well, you're gonna need TLO. That's the skip tracing program that we actually have and we use on your behalf as a researcher. 
um, to find them and check judgments. That runs about a dollar, dollar fifty per search, guys. These guys telling you that Facebook and and Spokio and all that are going to get you, you know, are going to get you finding people. That's a lie. You can't find these people like that. They're living in mom and dad's basement in Utah. They just lost their house in a foreclosure. Um, secondly, you're going to need to get an attorney. Um, we will get attorneys for you as a researcher, but you're going to need to get an attorney on contingency. You're going to have to pay for title, uh, pay for motion. You're going to need to pay for a mobile notary. That's fifty hundred dollars Structured buyout. This keeps you legal, guys. You pay the claimant. We pay them about 10% of the gross overage up front, in other words, within a few weeks after they sign with us, and the rest when they get the money out. Um, again, we'll do that for you as a researcher. You'll need postcards, mailings, postage, paper, scanner, all that. Um, as a researcher, what else besides the program cost would, it, would you spend? Basically, you have to have a computer, internet connection, Wi-Fi, or, or direct connection even. Scanner to scan files together um, as one attachment, or you can download software that'll stitch or attach the documents together so you can submit it to us. Next question, is it legal in my state? I get this a lot. Guys, using our method, it's legal in every state because you don't use assignments or powers, powers of attorney and we use structured buyouts. So you get right around the whole finder thing. We go after tax and mortgage overages. So even if the tax overages are not available in a certain area, there's just a few states like that. You can go after mortgage overages and there are a lot more mortgage overages. Finally, you can work any state online on your own. However, as a researcher, you can work 45 of those states from anywhere. Guys, you can work it even outside of the US. How long does it get, uh, take to get paid? On your own, that depends on how fast and how hard you work. As a researcher, basically about three months from when you start submitting files, guys, it takes us a month to get a hold of the people, get them signed up, get that paperwork back, uh, a month for the attorney to get on the docket, and a month for the court to cut a check. And these guys tell you you're going to pay in a couple days. They're not. They're taking out all these other steps. Um, can I give you a, re a reference for you to call? I don't give out mem member uh, information, guys. Our folks work. They don't want to be your mentor, and frankly, they don't want to share the area they're working. I had a blog at one time where everyone could interact. I spent all my time correcting wrong information posted by folks who wanted to look important. Chest thumpers. Respectfully, given the checks, the Facebook page, the information on our site, etc., if you don't believe us at this point, I, I don't know what to say. Um, next, is there a money back guarantee, guys? The income percentages, all those, the money I create, uh, quoted, that's my experience working it my way with my researchers. If you don't work it or you tweak it, you take shortcuts, you're going to fail. I can't take responsibility for you not applying it or taking direction. Further, I have no idea how well you'll do. Most folks fail because they won't apply it. If you work exactly what we give you as outlined, you'll hit the money and the percentages that I quoted you at least. It's a digital product, so we can't take it back, so there's no money back guarantee. If you're unsure, don't buy it. Uh, if you're a serial course buyer or an info junkie, don't buy it. Sorry, I, listen. I'm a businessman. I'm not a network marketer. This is all new to me, too, uh, as far as the network side of this, the internet. There's no rah-rah with me, and I found that if I have to talk you into getting on board, I end up having to talk you into working it. Um, now, is there support? Yeah. We have an email ticket system online. Support and underwriting is, is run by Jeff Olivia, who is my best researcher of all time. He's now my right-hand man. Jeff knows the front line better than anyone, including myself. And he gets back no later than three business days, usually within one. Can I work this outside? I kind of touched on this. Can I work this outside the United States? As a researcher, yes, you can. Because it doesn't matter where you are. I can send you a check for your commission. By yourself, no. Um, the reason is you need to have access doing this on your own to TLO to check judgments. Usually you can't do that online um, through the court, the judgment side of it. So TLO usually doesn't grant online access from outside the United States. Next question, is it saturated? No, it isn't. In fact, 30% of my buyers come to me after they fail using somebody else's system. They aren't told the truth. They don't have the tools to succeed. That's what that tells me. Even in counties with online lists, we are crushing it. And that tells me our system, because I pay people out up front and use buyouts, gives us a competitive advantage against anybody else out
All right, let's keep going. Can I start as a researcher without buying the program? Maybe take the cost out of the first check. No. I incur cost, guys, to work the files. I'm going to skip trace. I'm going to pay case managers $4,300 plus a week. That's my payroll. Uh, I have support and underwriting to pay, negotiations to pay. We pay attorneys and court costs, etc. Basically, the cost of this program covers a portion of that upfront, that upfront cost that I'm going to incur. And last time I checked, it's about a third of what other people are charging. And they charge you another 10000 just to partner up. So why don't claimants get the money on their own? Well, they don't know about it. The court notifies them at the last known address, which is the foreclosure address. If the claimant does find out about it, an attorney is probably needed to get the money. And a lot of times they're unaware of their rights, guys, how to go about doing this. Um, what about state finder laws? Well, this technique is outside regulation. I buy people out. And having them sign power of attorney, not to me, but my attorney, there's no percentage limits. Why can't we work all 50 states? Well, you can, guys, on your own. We will not take files from five states for the following reasons. Oregon and Washington, we don't want to deal with this. The attorney General's there, they're on a witch hunt. Florida, I have a separate program for that. Different laws, different way of doing it. And attorneys won't cash checks, uh, so we actually have to be able to cash the check out of Florida. Um, so that's a researcher-only program, and we limit the number of those we sell. In Ohio, we're going to decide soon uh, if we have a separate system or open that up. North Carolina also has a separate program. Guys, you can certainly work, work those. Also, if you're in any of those five, it doesn't matter. This is an online system. Work in other states, send in, send in the file to us if you want to work as a researcher. People get OCD on me all the time. I've got to work this state. That's silly. All right, final question. Is there any other program or system we need to also buy? In other words, are you going to hit us for all this extra money? No, this is complete. It teaches you how to research or do this completely on your own. Uh, there is a synergy bundle that pairs the national surplus funds, which is the program that deals with overage recovery, with the national deed flip. National deed flip is also a partnership program, but goes after properties pre-foreclosure, pre-tax sale. That's also very lucrative. And yeah, there's some benefit to getting involved, but you don't need to, guys. Uh, you'll also find more information about the National Deed Flip on the Purchase page when you click the Buy Now button. Um, but this is all you need to get started. Regardless, again, regardless of your decision, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. 